Pirates of the Caribbean 5, Dead Men Tell No Tales. We are back for the fifth installment. Johnny Depp, Jeffrey Rush, and others are back, but I won't say who those others are because it might spoil a plot point. So hopefully no spoilers in this video. Honestly, there's a lot of things I'm just gonna kinda gloss over because there's a number of plot points that are not, I don't think they're shown in any of the 200 trailers that came out for this movie. So I'm gonna try to keep this as spoiler free as I can and uh, please don't throw any hate my way because I spoil something because I'm going to try my best not to. And amongst all the characters we see back, Jack Sparrow, Barbosa, even Gibbs is back again. We also have a brand new villain we've thrown into the mix. That's Javier Bardem. If you don't remember him, he is the creepiest, weirdest Bond villain in history. He's back as Captain Salazar. Okay, we're at the fifth movie in this franchise, and most people that I've talked to, most reviewers that I've seen, think this movie, after the first, second, third, you should have sh put the ship in port, docked it up, tied it up. This, sh this franchise should have been done a long time ago. I am not one of those people. Billy? I'm trying to review a movie. What do you want to tell him? Billy's going to review with me. So basically, a lot of people are done with this franchise. I'm just not one of them. And I'll tell you something else. Neither was anyone else at El Capitan Theater Friday night. From the second that the curtain went up and the lights went down and you see the moonlight bouncing off the water, it was just, I was back home. I was excited. I was like, okay, back. We're in, back in Pirates. Let's do this. I got the tingles. Take me back. Take me back to this land of pirates and debauchery. Tell me where these characters I love have been. What, where are they sailing? What horizons are they going towards? Yes, I am a Pirates fan, not the team, the movie. If you are a Pirates fan, sorry, I just don't do sports. Can I put you down now? We'll play later. Sit. One thing I do want to address. Leading up to Pirates 5, I never saw the fourth movie. I never saw it. I heard it was horrible. I heard the critics tear it apart. Maybe I should go watch it now. And I really didn't want to spoil this franchise that I liked. So there are plot points that probably would have made more sense if I had seen them going into Part 5, but I don't feel like it ruined the experience for me at all. The few little bits of exposition that I feel like you needed, or that I didn't really understand, were tied up very quickly, folded in very well, and those little pieces of folded in exposition didn't take away from the story. Speaking of which, story. And I really hope this isn't spoiling anything because I know in at least one of the trailers there was at least one quick shot of Orlando Bloom. So he is in the movie, it's don't go there for him, he's in it this much, but the big plot of the movie, which you didn't see in the trailers, does involve Orlando Bloom. You'll understand everything I'm talking about in the first five minutes of the movie, so I'm not ruining anything really, I swear. But to be safe, I'll say nothing else about that. The second and more prevalent story that I'm sure you're aware of now is Captain Salazar and his search for Captain Jack. More specifically, his revenge on Captain Jack. I really like the Captain Salazar character. I like seeing Javier Bardem as a villain. I mean, I mean, as a villain, he kills it every single time. I like the nuances they gave his character. I like the, the flowy CGI underwater hair thing they did with him. I thought it looked really cool and I thought his crew looked really cool. I'll go more into his character in a minute, but that's one thing. As he would talk, this black stuff would be coming out of his mouth. It reminded me of the Penguin in Batman 2 where he'd be talking and all of a sudden it looked like black ink was coming out of his mouth. Him as a character, I almost wish I had seen him in another movie, like I wish there had been more of a build up to that character. I think we would have liked it even more because Javier Bardem is screen gold. And the few scenes they did where they flash back to show him as, you know, this, this, this pirate hunter. I want to know more about that character. Salazar is ridiculously badass. He's a deadly character. He's questionably the deadliest scourge in the sea. Why haven't we heard of him before? Oh, that's right, because we needed a new movie. Part five. His crew, they had this cool thing where it crew is just disintegrating, you know, bit by bit. Not like the first movie where they're skeletons in the moonlight, but they're straight up disintegrating. Like you'll see nothing in a hand or from, you know, here, here up, you'll see nothing. I'll just see, you'd be like this. You'll just see this kind of walking around like that. The effect was really cool, but a few times, there'd be so much of a person, you know, of like a ghost pirate missing. You'd see someone standing here and then over here, you'd see like a hand with a sword and you'd wonder 
who this belongs to. So it was cool, but ILM might want to dial it back a notch on the next one. But between Captain Salazar and Captain Jack Sparrow, there were some really cool things that happened. And there's this awesome scene, you saw some of it in the trailer where they flash back to like a young Captain Jack, but you get to learn some more about him. You learn how he got his name, how he became a captain, how he got his style. Some of the layers are peeled back. So I really appreciated that they did that. And seeing like Johnny Depp looking like he did in Nightmare on Elm Street playing Captain Jack was a little weird. Speaking of which, let's talk about what most of the critics are tearing apart. Johnny Depp and Captain Jack Sparrow. There's never going to be a better outing for Captain Jack than there was in Pirates 1. There's just not. Now he's on his fifth album. You know what to expect. There is no better Pirates film and there will be no better Pirates film than the original. Period. And I think a lot of people need to get over that. The first date is over. The first kiss is done. It was a long time ago. I went to the movie to see Pirates 5 not to see Johnny Depp in Pirates 5. There's a distinction there. I went to see the whole movie, not one person. I got the Captain Jack Sparrow I wanted out of this movie. In fact, when he was revealed for the first time, the theater erupted. They went crazy when he appeared on screen. There's a line from the very first movie that I think sums up Captain Jack very well. At one point in Pirates 1, Captain Barbosa says to Jack, the world used to be a bigger place. And Jack says, the world's still the same. There's just less in it. Jack is still the same. We're just familiar with so much of him that he doesn't surprise us anymore. There's not much left that can be scraped out of the bottom of that character barrel. Jeffrey Rush is back again as Barbosa. One thing I will say, I love Jeffrey Rush as Barbosa. He's awesome. I do miss the old Barbosa. This is going back to you can't beat the first movie, but I miss the I'm disinclined to acquiesce your request means no. But that aside, he was great in the movie. I mean, and really his character carries a lot of the story points along. We definitely get another nugget into the backstory of Barbosa and some things that happened in his past. So again, layers being peeled back, can't complain about that. This is one thing I realized about halfway through the movie is some of my favorite interactions in any of the pirate movies are always when Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Barbosa are in frame together. Those two together balance each other perfectly. For as much as Jack Sparrow can talk his way out of any situation, Barbosa can be diplomatic and talk his way out of any situation, which is almost more badass. Let's get to the freshman in the classroom. We got a couple newbies here. We have Brendan Twa. Whoa. We have Brendan. Brendan plays Henry, and unfortunately, I can't tell you much more about that because it will spoil a few things going into the movies. So just know that this guy plays this guy. What more can I say? He plays the young, good-looking guy. But what I can say is I I didn't really recognize him, and I looked him up, and he was in another movie that I talked about in an earlier review, Oculus. Bonus points for Oculus. We also have Kaya Ch Her. Don't know much about her. She, I guess she was in the Maze Runner movie and she's in another Maze Runner movie coming up. She plays Karina. She plays a young astrologer. Astro astronomer? Astronomer. Not astrologer. Astronomer. Sorry. She plays a young astronomer who helps them navigate the seas when they're trying to find what they're trying to find. She's got more, but again, he'll spoil the story, so that's all you're gonna get. Between the two editions, I really like Kaya, Karina, the best, but they made her a strong, no BS character, and I thought that was great. All in all, I don't think she was utilized as much as she could have been, but Johnny Depp still has top billing, and the movie's only two and a half hours, so something's gotta be cut. So are there flaws in Pirates 5? Yes, there are some plot holes you can steer these ships through. There's at least one scene that makes absolutely no sense. I don't care if I spoil this, there is this one wedding scene in the movie that it just comes out of nowhere and has no place in the story. Why? When it comes to Blu-ray, just edit that out. And unless I missed it, I know you saw this in the trailer, there's a scene where Javier Bardem falls in the water and he's like, Jack Sparrow filled me with rage. Okay, so you get that he's cursed and you get that, all right, he's, he's this cursed soul, but I didn't really, again, unless I missed it, how, why? Like, I don't, I didn't really get, I guess the cove that Salazar crashed into was cursed and you're supposed to assume that. I don't know, I, I wish there was more there. Then there's one thing in the movie that really, I, it, ghost sharks. If you're like me, when you saw the trailer, you saw ghost sharks and you thought, yes, but just how they show up in the execution, so yes, there are definitely shortcomings, but, but once again, I come back to, was the movie entertaining? Did it do its job? Would I see it again? Yes. I do think a lot of your experience watching this movie is going to depend on the crowd you're watching it with. I watched an opening night theater on Hollywood Boulevard, packed theater, they were loud, they were raucous, it was awesome with that kind of a crowd. So that may affect your experience a little bit. Curtains went up, everyone was cheering, we laughed throughout, 
I almost cried a little bit at the end, just a little. I walked out of that theater with a big smile on my face. It was fun. Cutting to the chase here, I would give Dead Men Tell No Tales a pretty solid eight out of 10. And that is taking full into account the animated theater that I was in, maybe made it a little bit better. All this being said, I think there is a bigger question. Is this the last Pirates movie? I mean, I think the tag for the movie was the final adventure begins. In my own opinion, I think there's more to come from the Pirates universe, but I think one of two things is gonna need to happen if this franchise wants to keep going. And yes, they revolve around Jack Sparrow. They're gonna need to pivot away from Jack Sparrow and focus on existing or emerging characters, or they take Jack Sparrow in a darker way and bring in a little more of the Jack Sparrow from the first one that we like. The guy who's always thinking, the guy who always has something working under the hood and you never know how dangerous the guy really is. I wanna see more of that Jack Sparrow. So what do you think? Is the Pirates franchise gonna sail somewhere next or do you think it's pretty much dead in the water? That was really stupid. That cheesy thing just came out. I, don't, I didn't mean to say it like that. But for this review, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Put in the comments, let me know. I'd like to know your perspective. I'd like to know what you think. And if you like this video, please go ahead and comment. You can like it over here. I think you can subscribe down here somewhere. That'd be really extra awesome of you. But until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.